and look at using book widgets. Uh, you can find uh, the site if you go to bookwidgets.com right there. You want to navigate there. And this is a free site, although it does have, uh, they do want some, they do want you to pay, so it's going to have some pop ups and things like that. And you can't publish your widgets uh, professionally unless you pay for their, for their pricing. But if you just want to use it with your kids and use it in your classroom, it's free and, it, and it's easy, you know, it, uh, how we would get book widgets. So, uh, or what it is, um, basically we've got some interactive widgets and they've got stuff for iBooks author. They've got stuff for, uh, for iPad, the, to use on the iPads. It even works on the Mac. It'll even install on the Mac dashboard. Uh, a lot of flexibility. And basically to get started, you would click, you, when you see a free trial link on there, you click on the free trial link, you download the software and you run the software on your Mac. So you have to create these on your Mac. There's worksheets, whiteboard activities, flashcards. It'll even, if you drill down and look at the tutorials, it'll even uh, take the results from those that the students do and either email them to you or have them available for you to download off of their site. So let's look, let's jump in and look at installing this bad boy and getting started creating a widget. Downloaded it from the website, so I'm going to open the DMG and I just simply drag it right there to applications. Now, let's take a look at launching book widgets. Let's see what we got. Yes, I want to open. All right, so it automatically presents us with some tutorials, which are nice, but given that I'm a, I'm a man, I'm not going to watch tutorials or read directions beforehand. I'm just going to plow on through. Okay, we well, get a free trial. I'm just going to continue my trial. And we got a lot of cool little widgets here. Uh, we got embed YouTube. We got worksheet. Uh, we're going to look at the timeline, and let's view an example of the timeline widget. All right. So main events leading to World War II. Sorry, one I can read. And so you've got a timeline here. You've got elements that are that are added to the timeline. You can click the plus to add elements. I'm just kidding. I know that wasn't part of World War World War One. Anyway, it's just real simple to use, and then uh, you know you can you can just add the elements on there, and your kids can sit there and order. Real simple, not a lot of frills. Um, if I go back and look at some of the other things, I, they can make uh, they can make flashcards, and so I can add a card. I can add the term. Uh, I can add a title to it. Add a section. Hint. Boom. And I can even add an image on the on the card. On the back, I can give an ex an explanation. And then I can save that. Save it as my flashcards. Okay. I can preview what that card would look like. And basically it's a widget that just lets me flip back and forth. So they're like virtual flashcards. Could you do this on paper? Yes. But do kids like clicking? Yes. So upload anyway. your widgets so that the students can actually uh, view them on iPads and, and different devices. And so to do that, once I've created the, and let's say I have a ton of flashcards here, even though I've just got the one, I'm going to click on upload. And it's going to want me to create a new account. And so this is going to be the free account. And I'm going to put the information in there. Agree with the terms of use and create the account account's been created and the confirmation link's been emailed to you. Check your email and then that'll be able to verify, uh, basically be able to validate your account which will then be activated. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this now. My account's been verified. I click upload and it gives me a short code for it, uh, a URL for the iPad. I'm going to 
which we're going to go to in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Okay, let's take a look at how to use book widgets on the iPad. So I'm going to open the app, and it wants me to enter the short code. And I got the short code from the book widgets app when I had it open. So I'm going to go ahead and click on enter short code and put in the short code that it gave me. And that's all you'll have to give your students. And I click go and it loads the widget. So we only did one flashcard, but here the students can sit there. So this is an easy way. If you've got uh, kids with lower grades, you could set this up in a center. Or uh, you could also, uh, if you've got kids with MacBooks, you can actually have them create their own and I'll show you how to open this on the MacBook once they saved it there. So it works easy. It works very easily on the Mac or the iPad. Using book widgets on the Mac, uh, you can actually simply save this file, uh, drag and drop it or send it to your students as a zip or they can make their own again, which is probably a better way of doing it. Uh, I'm going to open the book widgets app and if you notice, uh, again, I mean there's just a ton of stuff in here. Take some time, explore, play with it. I think you'll find something you like. I'm going to click on open widget and it saved it in documents so I'm going to go down to that World War II widget with one question on the flashcards open it up now this is the same view as you saw when you're creating it except now you click on preview and you can work on it so one strategy might be to use to have kids develop flashcards for one another and then quiz each other on them and see how they do um, there's just a lot of things again you can do with this. It's free. It's uh, it, it's got a few more steps than some of the other apps that we have, but it's also got a whole lot more flexibility. Uh, the one thing you don't want to do is double click on the widget and install it in your dashboard. And uh, I'll show you what that looks like uh, because it will do it on the Mac. You click on Documents. When I double click on the widget, which your kids are going to want to do, it's going to want to install it on the dashboard which, I don't know, maybe that's not a bad thing. Um, but then it becomes a dashboard widget, and I can always use it right there. So who knows? That might not be a bad thing. When your kids want to remove it, you just click a minus and get out of it. So no big deal. So anyway, there it is. It's free. It works on iPad. works on Mac. Uh, it's something you can use, or if your kids have MacBooks, it's something that they can create and use with one another. A lot of flexibility, a lot of depth as well, so you'll want to ex explore the tutorials. And uh, so anyway, hopefully that kind of gives you some ideas. Thanks.